because in 1999 or 1990, my daddy passed. In 1997, 1995, my brother was sh shot and murdered in New Orleans. In 1997, my mom was passed. Um, I started playing African style of music or more uh, um, traditional style of music to actually save my soul because those three incidents that shocked my whole existence. <laughs> We actually got really lucky to find everybody we were looking for. Mm -hmm. The weekend of Katrina. Mm -hmm. We was um, scheduled just to go to East Lansing, Michigan, because I was in a band called Zulu Connection. It was uh, drummers and stick walkers. We travel around the country. I'm one of the drummers, but there's three stick walkers, so we go to festivals and entertain the crowd. So we left New Orleans on Friday, not even worrying about Katrina. Well, uh, by the Sunday, we got a call from our girlfriends and wives that uh, the hurricane was headed directly to New Orleans. Then um, my friend, who actually is a photographer, who goes to New Orleans to 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 uh, video the migrants, he asked me, you know, he opened his house up to me to come to Nokia, Asheville, Nokia. And I said on this page because it was it seemed peaceful. We were peaceful. That, 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 after that incident, I need some peace. I mean, literally, there was 10,000 other ways they could have helped people to get out of that before it happened. And then the neglect of the whole government, the uh, governor of Louisiana, the, the mayor of New Orleans, the president. We don't, we don't need a, a bigger streetcar line. We need our house back. <laughs> we need our neighborhoods back. And it, to, today, New Orleans is... The neighborhoods are, some neighborhoods are not even, they ain't trying to rebuild it because they want all that going. They want, literally, they wanted all that to, I guess the storm, to flush it out. <laughs> they want the storm to flush all that out.